denied a raise, took a job at the hospital down the street for 3x the pay. I work in a small city with two hospitals. My field is very specialized and in demand. I was making 26 an hour which I thought was fair but then a market survey came out and it turns out the next city over, people in my field were pulling 50 an hour. It was me and another guy who worked in my city in my field and he retired from the other hospital. I asked for a raise of 35 an hour and was denied. Applied to the other hospital and was offered 74 an hour. Didn't give my two weeks. Stopped showing up to work and spent two weeks with my family and my newborn niece. Looks like they were penny wise but pound foolish. Good on you. 74 an hour is crazy. What do you do on a day to day basis? Some major hospitals are so unbelievably cheap, others offer sign on bonuses of 10k if you stay there two years. In medical, it's best to move around to make the most you can. Woohoo! Tip do not increase your lifestyle. This is your big chance to really build wealth. Make a plan and stick to it. Make sure to reward yourself and close family. What job is this? Congratulations I am happy for you, clapping hands, clapping hands, clapping hands. Shelbyville's win. Congrats on the new job. This, a paro, is how it's done, but personally, I would gladly submit my letter of resignation with immediate effect, accompanied by a smile to HR. In my experience the best way to get a raise is to get a new job. This is awesome. X200B. HR rigid and out of date policies at play. We cannot approve greater than X within this individual's tier. Congratulations, you are doing life right. I wish you the best in your new job. P.S. Sometimes the bridges we burn light the way to our new path, folded hands, 100, folded hands. Now we need to know how your old employer struggles with your leave, and beg you to come back at the same salary, and how they fail miserably trying to replace you still paying 26 per hour. That's a 100k increase, congrats. Crazy thing is, it's probably gonna cost them at least $35 to replace you. Congrats. What do you do for a living? You got your A's. Good for you. Wow. That is good for you. Just a bit of advice. Be careful with your money as you adjust to your new income. It's very easy to end up spending too much too fast. Well done who administered the survey. Seems like something your previous employer should have paid more attention to as well. Their loss. Good for you and congratulations, flexed bicep, flexed bicep, flexed bicep. From 26 to 74 an hour is a head spinning salary increase. Your life will change in a positive way. It's almost like the advice if you want a raise you need to get a different job is good advice, or something. Good move. Someone reflexively said no checking. What specialized field? Asking for a friend. This same shit has happened to me a few times. I literally show up with the offer letter match or I walk. You have two weeks. If OP actually comes back and didn't just post this for karma, I'll eat my shirt. This is the way. Props for taking the raise and extra extra props for spending two weeks with your fam. Dank congrats. Bless you. This is the way. If you work in healthcare, if you're not hopping jobs every two years, you're losing money. This is the way. You should have tried to show up as little as possible and still collect wages from job one while you ramped up job two. Collect dual wages for a bit. D. Capitalism sucks so much that I just had a 3x pay rise because of competition. Work sucks so much I'm only on top one of income worldwide. The patients will go untreated until they visit the rival hospital, questions will be asked why did op leave but no one will admit they screwed up and lost essential staff because no one wants to work for reasonable wages. 
Pretty crappy exit, but you can't turn down the money. From close to min wage to one salary that nuts. Small towns rocks. Not really anti-work, but good for you d spending time with the family is almost always time spent well. Kinda surprised you didn't have a non-compete clause in your employment agreement. Not that I'd blame you for ignoring it and daring them to sue you. How could you do that to your family? I feel badly for all the people that didn't get their treatments when you no-showed but I can't blame you for doing so. That's a huge difference. At some point, the reason for increasing healthcare costs is because everyone goes for higher pay. Then that cycle continues as people need higher pay to pay for higher costs. I'm sorry but how long did you stay at your job to be so behind market value? Stepping on a dollar to pick up a dime. Suua. What does this have to do with anti-work? Why is this anti-work? Shopping around for jobs should be sop for everyone. Didn't give my two weeks. That's pretty unprofessional. I wouldn't count this as a point of pride. What degree do you have? Associates or BS? Boss move.